Hello, and welcome to your seasonal quarterly readings for summer. Not only is the solstice the longest day of light in the year in the Northern Hemisphere, it also marks the turning of the seasons when the sun moves into zero degrees tropical cancer. This happens Tuesday, June 20th, 2017 at 9.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Wednesday, June 21st at 12.24 a.m. Eastern Time. The solstice translates to mean the still sun. Sol means the sun and still refers to where the sun climbs and finally reaches its ascent to the apex of the sky at high noon. So now is a seasonally supportive time to shine outwardly and use the fullest potential of your personal power, as does the sun. So for your summer readings, I will do them in two parts. For the first part of these readings, I will draw four tarot cards. The first will be for the summer solstice starting June 20th up until the end of June on the 30th. The second will be for the month of July, the third for August, and the fourth card for September up until the autumnal equinox on the 22nd. Then I will draw a card from the Angels of Light deck to see how everything fits together energetically and what angelic support you have with you this season. Then for the second part of these readings, I will draw five more cards using the Summer Spread. This layout was presented in the American Tarot Association's 2017 Summer Quarterly Journal, which I have the cover of displayed over here. In this edition's publication, I wrote a feature article titled Here Comes the Sun about why I became a tarot reader, which I really enjoyed doing. So I thought it would be fun to use the spread for the summer solstice that was published in this magazine. So let's go ahead and get started with your summer readings. Aquarius, let's see what the summer season holds for you for the second half of June, July, August, and the first half of September. All right, so show me the energy for the sign of Aquarius. What is summer going to be like for Aquarius? Okay, so June, July, August, September. Wow, lots of wands energy. Page of wands, four of wands, the hermit, and the eight of wands. And you got the magician. Okay, so all in all, this is going to be a very, I feel like, magical summer. It's going to be very active, very dynamic, very lots of movement. Okay, the magician is saying that you have a skill and a talent that you're going to be putting to use. Okay, I definitely see this for you, Aquarius. Uh, this is a performance art. So this could be acting, this could be putting on a show of some sort, but you really have this, the, the skills and the tools to be very versatile. That's why I get the sense of like acting because there's roles, right? And you're wearing a lot of different hats, you know, different different roles in your life, not just necessarily like a role play for a movie or something or like that. But it's it's also like, you know, you have different roles you play as like a, you know, a family member, a coworker, a friend, you know, you get the point, right? So there is a lot of manifestation with the magician. You know, he pulls down this sort of celestial energy and directs it. Right again, the director and the actor. I'm. I don't know why I keep getting this sense, but that keeps coming up. But anyway, um, definitely directing the energy, 
and you know honing it you are the conduit of this magical energy this this summer and really the magician is about personal power you being in control it's one it's autonomy it's you you run the show okay you are the star of your life okay and you know again like you're very versatile you know and if you're starting something new you really do have confidence that you can just act in the moment okay this is a good mirroring technique if you're meeting new people you can mirror their body language you sort of match people where they're at and you know it's also very uh, much like being quick being quick on your feet being you know quick minded you know this can be sales as well if you're selling something or selling an idea you're making something look appealing to the public okay it's the general energy that I'm getting for you know is the, sh the summary card the shadow card for summer so June you've got the page of wands which is about messages communication this is online social media this is really putting the word out there there's messages coming in and going out it's very exciting it's very new and I just see like you having a lot of energy uh, to just go around and you know if you're the magician you're sitting here in front of the table and you've got all of these four elements available to you you've picked up a wand here you picked up a wand to use wands are fire fire is manifestation right it burns through energy quickly and it attracts it attracts energy so you're going to be manifesting what you need and who you need to help you on your team or help you with your personal goals um, in June. Maybe you've already been doing that. I see more of that. Okay. So July, you've got the Four of Wands. Beautiful. So I see a celebration. I see a party. I see a social gathering or event that you're going to. Maybe you're, you know premiering something maybe you're showcasing something um i do see that there's like an invitation here to some sort of important social event in july and you're going to be meeting a lot of different people it just feels very fun and exciting this is a celebration maybe some of you are going to a wedding maybe some of you are having a wedding this is a card of marriage as well people tend to get married in June or July I guess summer maybe um, but yeah some sort of birthday whatever that is it's like happy fun times right August looks a little different you got the hermit card which is like okay you had a lot of activity in June and July and it's like now you need to sort of withdraw and recharge your batteries because this is a little bit of alone time it's solitude it's a balance between the external world of being an extrovert and the internal world of being an introvert the hermit is also someone maybe one person around you that is like a wise figure it could be a teacher of some sort maybe you're the teacher Okay, but it definitely looks like, you know, this is a card of wisdom and sol solidarity. Solidarity? I don't know if that's the solitude. The solidarity is the oneness, being by yourself here and having that time in August to sort of do it on your own. You're exploring territory on your own. That's the sense that I'm getting for August and maybe that's what the magician is sort of pointing at is an important time for you it's the only major arcana that comes up for the months other than ma than the magician so I feel like August is like a, an important time for self-discovery and what you're really capable of manifesting what you're capable of doing and um, again it's just exploring new territory by yourself so maybe you'll be traveling alone Maybe you'll be going to certain events alone. It just feels like you don't really mind it. And it's important for you um, to have this sort of autonomy and, and time, you know, of introspection even to yourself. Okay. Then it picks up again in September. <laughs> so you've got lots of wands coming in. So where before you had one, it was sort of the 
the initiation of that it's like it's grown times eight right so it's like fast paced stuff again it's like no wonder you needed time to yourself because you've got all of this stuff happening at once you've got all of these things sort of coming in and it can be it could be overwhelming it doesn't feel like it is though it feels more exciting um but it's just a lot you know um news messages it's incoming. So maybe where you were promoting yourself and doing the outgoing messages, here they are coming in in August. Okay. I did say if you're traveling alone, this could also be air travel. I see that as possible. It's a possibility. Um, some of you may be going home or someplace that feels like home. It's another possibility. But I just get a lot of like exposure with this. So a lot of attention, a lot of exposure. If you've been working on a project, this is wonderful. It's a lot of like media type stuff, um, promotion, uh, advertising. It's like everyone is seeing it. Everyone like it feels good. It's speeding up. Okay. So I want to see what angel is going to be looking after the Aquarians. Show me the card here it is angel of expansion okay this is what the angel looks like All right and I definitely get with the, the one it goes to the four then it goes to the eight so it sort of uh, exponentially grows and magnifies angel of expansion the angel of expansion assists you in continuing and increasing your growth through all the events that transpire in your life this angel enhances your ability to develop and progress escalating your evolution and ascension work with this angel to grow beyond all physical world beliefs and limitations i feel like growing beyond all physical world beliefs and limitations like don't limit yourself you really have an opportunity this summer to really for things to sort of exceed your expectations when it comes to what it is that you are creating and manifesting for yourself. You may really surprise yourself or be surprised with the positive results that you get, okay? Uh, it just looks like a, a summer of manifestation, growing, expanding, having more opportunities, uh, more exposure, um, more growth. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing for the month to month basis. I, I want to use this Thoth tarot deck to do the summer spread. I've not done this spread before except for um, the previous videos that I've filmed. It's, um, it's new for me, and it's fun. So it's a five card layout. The first position is in the center, which is going to show the source of light for Aquarians. What is the source of Aquarius light? The second card is what is fading that needs releasing? This is in the bottom left. The third card is in the upper left. The sh uh, What is in the shadow that needs to be brought into the light? The fourth card is what is ripe and ready for picking? And this is going to be in the upper upper right. Fifth card is going to be in the bottom right, which is how can I reward myself this summer? So how can the Aquarians reward themselves this summer? Okay. There we go. Center, bottom left, upper left, bottom right, upper right. Not yet. There it is. Okay. So what is your source of light? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Inspiration. The Queen of Psychic Impression, Sensitivity, and Creation. Okay. She is the source, the fountain from which all flows through her. This is very much the Magician energy. It's a very feminine energy. Um which is allowing and receptive to be a conduit. That is your center. That is your source, your light. Being in the flow, okay? Allowing things to flow 
through you and around you. Okay. The bottom left is what needs releasing. It's the completion. This card has come up for a couple of other signs. Um, it's interesting that things are just going to, the things that are completed are what needs to fade away and release. It doesn't feel like a difficulty. It doesn't feel like a struggle. It's just going to naturally happen and occur with this card in this position. Okay. Something that has come to an end, it's like it just naturally sort of bows out so that new opportunities are, you know, you've made room for new things to come in. So what needs to be brought into the light that's in the shadow? The lovers. Interesting. You know, the lovers card is not always about love, you know, relationships. It can be, but it's also about choices and communication. This has a very Gemini feel. Um, I was getting the sense of like lots of social media type things happening for the Aquarians, but it could also be love, lovers as well. Um, maybe this card is like a wedding, right? It's possible that you could be moving in with your lover if you're in a relationship or getting married to them for some of you out there, sure. Um, and it's also, it's a domestic card. You've got the hermit. You also have the arrows of love. I normally see like cups as love, but you are the queen of cups here in the center. So maybe the hermit card could either be a pregnancy since it's nine months and maybe that's not something that you want yet uh, and if it is then great I don't feel like you're gonna be telling a lot of people there's something hush hush about the hermit card something that's sort of secretive that goes into Heidi doesn't feel like a malicious secretive it just feels like privacy secretive maybe this is the honeymoon to be honest it could be going into sort of solitude where you're sort of tucking away and it makes sense a lot of Aquarians might be getting married. There's the social invitation. Here's a marriage card. This would be the honeymoon. And then things picking back up again once you come back up for air. <laughs> Magician is also chemistry. So there's another layer of that that I do see. Okay. So the third card is, or excuse me, the fourth card is what is ripe and ready for picking. Ace of Wands. So much fire in your spread. The Page of Wands, Four of Wands, um, Eight of Wands, Angel of Expansion. This could be a literal expansion of like getting pregnant. There's a pregnancy card here as well. And I do see the lovers and the Queen of Cups, who's the mother. So I'm, I do see a lot of this. If it's not pregnancy, it's just a lot of you know, physical pleasure, uh, and the ace of wands is passion, it's love, and it's very phallic symbol, okay? So there's a lot of that. It's a lot of creation type energy, okay? The fifth card is the how can you reward yourself this summer, the two of discs. Expanding, there's Jupiter here, taking on more. There's the snake, the serpent energy. It, this feels all very very sensual, <laughs> very sexual actually, creation, a new creation with the yin and the yang, really everything in the world is made of, you know, female and male, female and male, which keeps reproducing things, it's like life keeps, you know, producing itself, not necessarily be between people, but um, just the energy within nature, uh, it's how energy keeps moving and flowing. Okay? It's how new cycles are created. It's how the, the seasons change. Now, this sounds all very esoteric, um, but how can you reward yourself is change. Being open to change. Things will be changing for you this summer in a very positive way. It's multiplying as well. The one becomes two. The expansion here. I love this reading for you, Aquarius. I'm seeing it just being very enjoyable. I'm seeing you have, you know, the company of other people, love. There's possible marriage, maybe a pregnancy even. Um, if not, I do see a lot of fire and advancement, very fast, rapid advancement in your career. Um, home looks great too. I don't really see a lot of difficulty here. 
Uh, of course, this is a very general reading. It might change from person to person, but in general, Aquarius looks looks very, very good, very positive. So I hope this was helpful and enjoyable for you to watch. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. Have a wonderful summer, Aquarius. If you would like a personal reading that is specific to you and your needs and circumstances, feel free to contact me through my website or my business email. I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description box below. Otherwise, I will see you in the upcoming videos. Until next time, take care and be well.